Good morning, Lee here, and what an amazing privilege it is to wake up and be able to reach out to yourselves and practice yoga together. This morning in our practice, we're going to be enjoying um, Kali Hand Mudra. Kali, K-A-L-I, is a um, beautiful warrior goddess. So there's a lot of um, kindness, but still a lot of strength, a lot of courage, but still an open, an open heart and compassion. So it's a really beautiful way to complement our practice, especially first thing in the morning when we do want to encourage and fire up a little bit of energy within us, but still be careful and, and kind. So our hands together, the lower fingers interlace and the index fingers just rest together. I do like this, it's a little bit Charlie's Angels, I do like it. And then our right thumb lays down and our left thumb over the top. Ah, fabulous. Warrior of transformation. Warrior of darkness coming into the light. So quite often our hands do begin to gather here in front of our heart space, just as a little bit of protective symbolism of our chest, our heart area. And then when you're feeling comfortable and relaxed, you can lay your hands down, perhaps in your, on your shins, with your index fingers pointing towards the earth. Shoulders can relax and you can sit up as tall as you wish. Just allowing torso, legs to just sort of feel a little bit symmetrical and awake and alert. And as you breathe in through the nose, feel the air just brushing in through the nostrils and the back of the throat. And then that amazing expansion that happens through the chest area and the belly swells. Slowly the air leaves. And just let it sort of breeze and brush all the way up and out. So maybe now you might like to imagine that you're breathing in beautiful, clean, pristine air. It turns into breath within you. And as you gently exhale, maybe you can imagine that out the end of your index fingers, there's a dark smoke leaving. So this dark smoke represents tired energy, used up energy, fatigue, maybe stress. It can be from yesterday or it can be from many days ago. And then another beautiful breath in, lovely, clean air, feeling your body transform slowly exhaling and letting that dark smoke leave. Just continue to rest as the breath, the energies of the universe does all the work for you. You're cleansing, you're cleaning, you're letting go, leaving an open space for transformation, just to happen within you, freely, kindly. And sometimes this dark smoke might take a few breaths to clear. Some days it'll clear really quickly, really easily. All sorts of things, some things are harder to let go, so just Give them a chance. And then as that clearing, leaving smoke is all clear, you can continue to just rest, noticing the amazing sensations of the breath and all that is in within you. Notice how much lighter you feel. Notice the energy that's within you now. 
feeling a little bit freer, easier, content, strong, great. Really harnessing the amazing warrior, goddess energies of Kali. And whenever you feel ready, you can allow your hands to lift a little, give you a little tips of your fingers, a little pitter patter. And you can rest gently back again in Anjali Mudra. So the hands, it's a little bit like a prayer position here. Really allow relaxation and natural length, the knees about the neck into the tops of the shoulders. Turn up the corners of your eyes and the corners of your lips. And just a gentle bow in honor and respect of yourself and me. Thank you for practicing Kali Mudra with me. Namaste. Hope you enjoyed learning about these hand mudras. They're just fascinating and beautiful and really inspiring. So please tune in. There will be more hand mudras and mini meditations to enjoy and explore. Subscribe to my channel, please. It's just a baby channel. So every new subscriber gets like, woo, one more, one more, a happy dance. And know that you have that effect on people. It's not just me. You have that effect on people and the world needs more of what you have. See you again super soon.